John 20 verses 1 through 16 reading from the Amplified Bible Classic Edition Now on the first day of the week Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple whom Jesus loved and said to them, They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Upon this, Peter and the other disciple came out, and they went towards the tomb. And they came running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and arrived at the tomb first. And stooping there, he saw the linen clothes lying there, but he did not enter. Then Simon Peter came up, following him, and went into the tomb, and saw the linen cloths lying there. But the burial napkin, which had been around Jesus' head, was not lying with the other linen cloths, but was rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, went into, and he saw, and was convinced, and believed. For as yet they did not know the statement of Scripture that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went back again to their homes. But Mary remained standing outside the tomb, sobbing. As she wept, she stooped down into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had lain. And they said to her, Woman, why are you sobbing? She told them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. On saying this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you crying? For whom are you looking? Supposing that it was the gardener, she replied, Sir, if you carried him away from here, tell me, where have you put him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, Turning around, she said to him in Hebrew, Rabbani, which means teacher or master. So the key part of this scripture, this entire scripture is absolutely wholesome. There are many lessons in every single verse. But for today, I am going to focus on Mary's response in the very last verse 16, when Jesus called her by her name. And so this whole celebration of Easter, Resurrection Sunday, is really a personal one. It's a personal call. Jesus called her name, Mary, and she responded, Master, Rabboni. That is the power of this. This is a 
personal experience. Um, one that although everyone all over the world is celebrating, it's a personal celebration between God and us, between God and myself, between God and you. He has presented himself. He went through the suffering. And Mary, again, there's so much. Mary, Mary, there was something deep about Mary Magdalene. And she didn't go with the disciples. There's something about Mary, and that's going to be for a different day. But it's personal. Amidst all this global celebration, it's really personal. It's a personal call between God and myself, between God and you. So let us uh, respond to that resurrection power, that personal call of hope, of how good will overcome evil, of how God overcomes the devil, of love, God's love for us is it covers our sins of how the power of God supersedes man's expectation and man's limitation in our lives and of the hope of accepting that call um, of salvation gives us hope eternal hope for eternal life so Lord God we thank you for the resurrection power which you have given to us this day. We have hope. We have the power of miracles in our lives, just as how you miraculously rose from the dead. And you have given us power that even when this mortal life ends, that we can live with you in eternity. Lord God, forgive us of our sins. Help us to seek you. And that once we seek you, we will find you. And that you know our name. And that you are calling us by our name. And that you are looking for us to respond to you and to give you that place in our lives. So today we say, Master, Savior, Lord, Jesus Christ, Son of God, manifest yourself into our lives, into our heart, and we ask that you will take control in Jesus' name. Amen.